gentlemen, welcome to Blackout After Dark. We're about that point now where we got a crunch time of our tournament this year. Semifinals coming up next. My second name is Guy for the Action. And one thing we were kind of talking about as we were watching uh, obviously the American Maven cast was it's so nice, at least for, for me, to see players in a different environment, right? Because we're so used to seeing players on main stage just, you know, grinding, just laser beam stressed focused, out. stressed, right? Now you hear Temp just kind of giggling away in the background. It's a different kind of feel that we have tonight. Absolutely, right? Like the energy in here is amazing. These guys are playing blackout. Right. Whenever you're done scrimming at home with your team, that's what you do. You hop into some blackout and, you know, play some 2v2s and some tournaments and have some fun. And these guys are definitely having a blast as well with $10,000 total on the line. Yes. Pretty money on the line. We'll take a look at the format for this evening once again. Of course, we have our Division B teams here from the Gold League World League. Two players from each represent their organization as a duo. And each duo will be entered into the single elimination bracket where we're at the semifinal point now. Matches consist of two games of blackout and the score is decided by kills. If there is a tie, the last team standing. And speaking of our semifinals, the next couple of games, I expect one to be very close, one not to be very close. And I think you can probably guess which one I don't think is going to be the close one. I mean, Splice played incredible in their first match, Accelerate played incredible in their first match. I'm predicting that to be our final. You know, they got like 27, 20 respectively. Like, it's pretty good, man. That's yeah. a lot of kills. 27 is like. That's, you're not beating that. No. You're not beating that. You're not. And for United, they got just, just seven kills, which is ironically the lowest of any team in round number one outside of the team they play. And here they are. They find themselves in the semifinals somehow. I'm not sure how, but I think they're going to get blown out of the water. I'm going to be honest. I, I hate Anything to say it. That's hate the great thing it. about Blackout, though. Like, they got seven kills. It could have been completely different. They get out of that one situation. Who knows how many kills they get. The other team can die off the rip, Ben. There's no way. You don't think so? No, I have no faith in the United. I think they can do it. I got faith in our cities. It's Saint. I believe. Okay. I think uh, they're gonna do it. How about and this? They're how warming this? up over a there. A friendly bet. Let's see how. Let's see how much you believe. Dinner tomorrow. All right. Sure. Bet. 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 Just one free dinner. That was easy. <laughs> There's no way. Wow, I think. What, was it? Was it? Was it not? Our cities that got got carried. Yeah, he did. But he's going to play but way the better. The professional he's going to play much better here. Trust me. I, I was watching him warm up. He's absolutely beaming, Ben. Okay, absolutely. Way better shot than you. Sure. sure. Well, no. it's not hard, I would hope. I would hope the best ICR in the game does have a better shot than me, that's for sure. I believe Steady is down on the floor with our players. All right, guys, we are back here with two players from me, United, Brian Saints, and obviously RCDs, as you heard, nameless, the best AR. <laughs> and then over here we have Team Accelerate and Marie's and Belief. Start off on this side. Brian, going into the semifinals match, you had such an intense first series. Yeah, no, it was crazy. What's going to happen here? I mean, we got a bit lucky the first time, but I mean, these dudes aren't too good, so we should be able to take them. If they lose to a coach, it's pretty pathetic. All right, but you guys did get seven kills in the first game. They got 22. What are you going to have to do to keep up the pace? Not suck. <laughs> All right, basically, that's good enough. Ruiz, on your side, you guys had, like I said, 22 kills that first match. Uh, how are you guys feeling going into this? Um, it's just going to be a good game. I love playing COD. It's going to be fun. And you and Believe, I guess you guys' teamwork so far is really clicking. And hopefully you guys go Ghost Town again. Am I going to see that again or no? Probably not. All right, all right. Well, I'm pretty sure this is going to be a good match, guys. Good luck in you guys' match. Ben and Ant, back to you guys. Wait, Study wants them to go ghost town again? They walked into a room and got killed by a guy camping in a corner. I don't think they'll be landing there in the Probably next few games. Not. Probably not. Uh, but I like what Saint's trying to do. Saint and Mind games. Mind games. Oh, they lose with Coach. It's pathetic. Smart. I see you, Saint. I see you trying to add the extra pressure throughout the situation. Is that probably not. Uh, the, the other semifinal, though, the other one, that's one where I think, okay, this could be very, very interesting. I think there's some great blackout players there. Splice looked great in their first quarterfinal. E6 as well. Yeah, 18 is good. Great. I, I, I don't really know what to expect. I think if I was a betting man, I'd probably put my money more towards E6. Or, sorry, more towards uh, Splice. Splice. Okay. Uh, there, we say, there we 20, go. There we go. 27, more toward, Ben. More, more towards Splice, but E6 can now. Uh, Hold on. You, you definitely straight. want to put another. No, another no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm going to take my dinner. I'm going to walk away with it as uh, the first semifinal. Getting ready to drop. And I guess as a, as a tournament goes on, because I know you played in a fair amount of tournaments yourself in Blackout. Do you kind of adapt as it goes on, maybe? Or, or more specifically in this, you're obviously you're watching your competitors. Do you maybe incorporate that into your drops into your mindset of going through? every game is pretty much the same it just dic it depends on whatever the helicopter line is right like where you're coming in from right pretty much dictates your strategy but overall it's 
there's two ways you can play. You can play slow, try to make it to the end, or you can play super aggressive. Uh, maybe, you know, depending on if you're playing splice or not, and you saw how many kills they got, you know what they're capable of. Maybe you do try to drop down and get aggressive, or, you know, accelerate as well, picked up a bunch of kills. So maybe you try to push the pace in the beginning, just so they don't get a lead on you early on. Well, the United can last longer than two minutes. An improvement. <laughs> They still have to try and find some kills. Look at the vibe. See, it's it's so great to see these guys smiling, having fun, playing some blackout. Way less stressful than being in a 5v5 <laughs> where the comms get crazy right? in the pro league. So nice little fun time to have on the weekend. Give these guys something to take the edge off a little bit. Yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying it as well. Of course, we've been wanting to watch our professional players play blackout for quite some time. You can see them on the personal streams, but having them here in our studio is always a, always a fun time. I've learned that um, I would be winning in this tournament <laughs> <Just> <laughs> from these last few games. It, it, it's funny, it's funny, right? Because obviously when uh, when Maven and the wonderful Merc were commentating, we heard Merc saying he feels he should uh, he should be playing. Same can be said with Maven. I'm not quite sure how true that would be. Uh, probably the, the worst of all the talent. I'll be honest, Clint's pretty good. No, no, I play, no, I, I, no. I Clint gets him. carried by Merc every gate. Do not fall into this trap, this for gays. No, <laughs> I refuse. Look at the stats. Yes, because Joe puts on his backpack, puts Maven on his back, and then plays for eight hours You're straight. You're really passionate, Venom. I am. I, understand. I am not. No, Clint, go away. No, <laughs> no, this, no. You had your time at all. I'm elite. I'll right, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're going to play against these guys later tonight. I know. I'm getting loud over there. I know. I, I will say, though, realistically, yourself, study, Merc. After what we've seen so far, you guys probably put up a better fight in some of the games. Um, but anyway, it looks like we're loading in our first semifinal, and we're going to be on board with Arsides. He was first blooded very, very quickly, map number one, and didn't really have too much of an impact in map number two. Are we going to see them? Cool are, right are you, you going to go Long Barn again? I think he's running the Outrider character. It's a cool outfit he's got on there. I like that. But going to decide to go over towards Long Barn. The line came in from train station, so there might be a decent amount of people over there. Hydro Dam area. So maybe clear this out, back up, and try to pick up the sure. kills over there early on. But they keep going here, and they love it. They love not, the Long Barn. It's not my favorite spot to land, but you know it's kind of a gamble with the loot. Sometimes there's a lot of good guns here, and sometimes there just isn't. And, you can come out of here with a pistol and a Spitfire, like it's looking. You should get level one armor, right? And oh, that works. Utility, but no backpack. Bear that in mind. So a little limited to how much stuff he's going to be able to carry himself. Two sensor while. darts, so that's pretty good, especially when you're rotating over towards Red Barn and range. Yep. You're going to be able to kind of scout out that area. If you don't have the best weapons, you can know exactly where they are at the very least. But we see the train station drop. They haven't found anybody yet. A little bit surprised because that was the hot drop in the beginning. Mm -hmm. So maybe people landing towards the middle. Oh, there he spots one. Trying to rotate out over towards the water tower. For a minute, I was watching the drop. How close do you was to his monitor? <laughs> He's uh, very, very close. For now, I believe with the support of his teammate, trying to push forward. Oh, that's a nice shot. Nice down comes through. One more over towards the left of train. And he looks over towards the southeast. He should be good. Oh, it is a down. It isn't a kill just yet. And already. I think there may be multiple teams here because that guy was shooting on the to the right, which neither Believe nor Ruiz were standing. So there might be another team here on the other side of this building. Might be able to pick up a decent amount of kills right here. Either that or he was just blind, one of the two. Nope, it looks like there's another squad in here. Well, that's one squad fully, fully taken so care of. Three kills, and well, we'll see if there is anyone else further over towards the west. So far, good start for Accelerate. Now, back over towards United. Cruising on into firing range. And well, they get the information because of the sensor dot. Four red dots, I believe that was. Saint just opening up. So you can pretty much even out the odds here if you're able to kill these guys. And firing range does have a lot of good loot. So if they're able to take all these guys out, they could be fully looted. He's on the roof. <laughs> Keep in mind, they have another sensor dart as well and that ATV. So if they take these guys out, they will be in prime position to, you know, get a lot of kills. RC is going to pick up one on Maudi. Back to the lobby, you go. Two more people. I think there's one possibly on the roof. It was originally. Ooh, that was scary. I believe that is an entire squad taken care He's of. He's still down, so there's at least one more. more. Absolutely right. And that last player is on RC. Don't shoot your teammate again, Saint. RC goes does down. Keep it's doing deja that? vu this time, though, Saint, to keep him alive. Tags him up, goes for the final oh push my. and the final burst. 
The final burst. You're on the fist pump. Say, yeah, I well, had it coming. I'm Don't sorry. Worry. Had I'm it sorry, coming. dude. I didn't mean to do that. It almost happened again. All right, so four to four, right? You have three kills to loot up there. Uh -huh. You have an ATV, and you have a sensor dart. You're looking you grab good. that, you're looking good. Head over to Rivertown, pick up some kills, play that line, but we're gonna hop into our other semifinal here. Splice versus Enigma 6. This is gonna be a very high killing game. I can already sense Possibly. it. Possibly. They're landing range, they're confident. Damn. The center so, of range as well, to be precise. Right? <laughs> he just went straight in the middle. He's like, if anyone's here, don't worry. <laughs> just gonna gun him <laughs> Oh, look at low. that. That's the best drop ever. Get him a, get him a little sight on that. Three times sniper scope and he's in. We'll see if he gets much more action as Accelerate do take the lead in their semifinal. They're able to pick up one extra kill. Waiting for any action here in range. It's relatively Is that a quiet. Paladin? I think it's a Paladin as well. So yeah, they're going to both have a sniper rifle if Aqua decides to go over there and grab that. But so far looking good in the loot side of things for Splice. Doesn't seem to be any people there, but we're going to hop back on board with M. Ruiz from Accelerate. What was it? They dropped 20 in their last game, so... Yeah, they were putting some serious pressure. Almost one as well. It was believed that was left in a 1v6. It was pretty rough, and some shots come through. Believe takes care solo, of one. And, yep, that was a solo. Instantly dropped. So another kill falls in their favor. The advantage now at two. Still 51 other players alive in this game. So for United, you're down two. But, hey, at least you survived longer than you did game one. So they're playing this a little bit different than they did in their first game. So in their first game, they decided to leave the circle and go all the way out and try to catch people rotating inside. So right now, they're going to be in the center of the circle. And it looks like St. Arsides have their next sensor dart on another team, yep. picking up some kills. They are currently down two, though. So at max, if they're in one team fight, they're going to go up two and kills. I'm pretty sure what happened is EU Oh, no, this is a bad situation. Being, just get out of there. United have a sensor dart on their quad, and they drove by a team. So this is going to be one of the areas of the map that Treyarch just updated. So in this area, it used to be six buildings. We used to call it six pack. That was the call out for it. They added two more buildings. So is it eight so pack now? Eight pack, yes. Oh, that's easy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it gets a little bit scarier when you're in this area because there is that n another building where players can be hiding in. And now it's just, you know, possible for there to be multiple teams here and multiple campers on yeah, top of those rooftops. I think you may have a situation where there's a multiple fight going on. United could be in a, a, a little bit of a skirmish of their own. In fact, no, they, they cleaned up their kill. They're splitting yeah. up. This guy, I believe, is like solo pushing this guy on the roof right here. This can get a little bit scary. If he goes down, you got to think he gets thirsted. 100%. He's pushing him right away. Shots He's taking down. a lot of damage. He's like 50 HP right now. He's just going to decide to jump off the roof. And Marie's coming up to help. He's getting charged, takes more damage as well. Pretty much one shot right now, and he charges him, but believes he's gonna be able to get that kill and somehow get out of this situation with about 25 HP. Lucky. That was a close call. Yeah, two kills in their favor. So once again, advantage goes back to three. Big advantage starting to develop. Meanwhile, over in the Splice E6 game, Aqua has fallen. So it is Temp by himself here in map number one. A lot of pressure here for him as he, of course, hasn't got any kills. So, before he fell. I played a tournament with Temp before in Blackout. Okay. We Good. were down 10 kills, okay. right? Mm -hmm. And he was the last one left. Proceeds, or he started with four kills, proceeds to drop 16 more drops, 20 kills <laughs> to clutch up. Wow. Dominating squad. So, he's definitely capable. He's experienced. He knows what he's doing, and he has an ATV, so. Been in this position before. He's only down three. And keep in mind, this is the first game, so all he has to do is keep it close. May want to actually group up with them. Uh oh. Well, bad news for E United. Oh, Saint is down. Arcides is also down. Okay, Tap. See, let's see what you're working with. Accelerate now with a great chance of just flying through their first map of the semifinal. It's 8 6 the advantage. Now it's really just going to be the Accelerate show. Expect almost exactly the same as what we saw in the quarters for them, picking up just a ton of kills and potentially even trying to win the map. But I, I am more curious for Temp. I, I, I want to go and spectate Temp. He already managed to level up their semifinal 1-1 one, one. And when you're by yourself. And this is a, this is a hard yeah. position to be in. And, well, this could be another free kill. Uh-oh. You got to hit the shots. 
Yeah, it's pretty tough to hit guys on the ATV when they start to drive. You got to kind of lead your shot a little bit. Had the nade, could have thrown the nade right at the ATV. Uh, I mean, the, the, oh, don't get one out. Oh, the my. new updated cluster takes a little bit to blow up. Now it's not as instant as it was before, so you kind of got to stick them to kill them. Okay, it's gone down, so this shot is possible. Side. Oh man, that was a tough situation. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. This temp upset with how that one finished and. Well, you have a situation where Cade fell as well. So E6, I'm curious to see if maybe the revive comes through. It was fully ended, but it's 8 6 advantage as we pop back on board with Believe. Get out of there. Player above, and you may have to dip, my son. Luckily, support and is look, there. Look how much action we're seeing in this eight pack part of the map. They added yeah. that extra building. They killed one team, and now there's another one on the complete other side. Uh -oh. There's just so many people. There's so much action. And Maurice is down. And Maurice, and Maurice is down. He's down. He goes down as well. Reloaded. Oh, oh my god! Oh no, so back to the lobby. Only one player up in both of our semifinals right now, and it's gonna be diabolic. Just got gunned by a SOG. E6 down one. Somehow Temp managed to give them an advantage. We'll see if Diabolic's able to do it. Yeah, I mean right now he's in a fantastic spot, right? Like there's 51 people left in the game. It's just him alone right now. He has a, a SWAT level one armor, so not the best, but all you got to do is take your time and pick up like six, seven kills right here. Give yourself a pretty decent lead going into the next next game. Well, this could be a free kill right by the truck. He spotted him. Now can he try and secure the kill? Oh, Two people. Nice. Three people. See, here's where you got to be careful with your shot selection, right? Like you don't want to start to take a shot from far out and then everybody focus you. Almost kind of want to third party it, maybe get close and then down one and take him out instantaneously. There's one actually inside of this trailer, I believe. Party. This is the I freest kill of, of all time. Wait, he's like, wait. Oh, me? okay. Well, well the engineer kind of played with the visuals a little bit, but there's one more outside. He's in a great position to pick up this kill. He's already leveled things up. 2-2. Two, two. He's surrounded by players. Drops out the window and easy. These are uh, the lads and dads of the lobby, Ben. Most definitely are these. This is who you want to run into. The free kills that you, you'd love to pat the stats with. That's for sure. But he knows there's at least two more. One was a little bit up the hill towards his left, so... Maybe he can take his time and get some information. And now that he's killed two of them, he's got at one on two maximum, which is, you know, something Diebot can but easily deal with. Bear in mind that the player that was closest to him originally was shooting up the hill. So you can assume that, you know, different teams. So maybe there was some extra shots, even a, a down that could have come through. But the only thing that matters, E6 with a one kill advantage. What I worry about right now for Diabolic is one, he has no scope on his SWAT, so it's gonna be tough to hit shots at range. And two, he has a level one armor, right? So having level one armor, oh, finds another one. All right, so that's the last remaining member of that squad, most likely. Still can't find better armor, but does find a scope for his SWAT, so that's gonna benefit him in the long run. Has a ton of heals and has a fully attached SWAT. Should be okay, just needs to find armor. Yep. And plenty of time. Of course, another bag right there. He wanted to go for the. He loot. only has 49 bullets. I assume that the player grabbed all the good loot from there. As Diabolic still trying to put pressure on. And I know Study is down with Diabolic's teammate, Cade. Study, what's going on? I'm here with you. Steven is up. I mean, Diabolic is up two kills right now. How many kills do you think he's going to end this game with? Uh, I think he's going to get at least seven more. He's going to hard carry me this game. Okay, okay. What what actually happened to you, though? Um, so basically, we seen people in fracking, and then we just rushed them, and then it just didn't go my way. I believe you, though, because you threw a tomahawk at somebody, and you're the first one I've seen do it so far. So, back to you, Ben and Ed. Thank you very much, Steady. Seven more. Oh, well, Cade feeling confident in his teammate. I'm not sure if I share the same optimism he does, but I did mention at the very beginning of the day, and I said Diabolic is a hell of a blackout player. I mean, absolutely. And this isn't too bad of a position to be in. You have an ATV. There's 25 people left in the game. Just rotate around, find, you know, solos and duos that are running around, and there's smoke, so something obviously going down in this building. Oh, you see some trip mines? And he has engineers, so we're still gonna spot him. Oh, there's one. As free as a kill you. And now go yeah, loot him get. and get his armor. Imagine he walks through the window, trip mines. Level one, that's tough. Oh, imagine that. <laughs> be hilarious, but no. Sniper scope, is he going to grab it maybe for... Leaving awareness. Later? Awareness is one of the best perks, but didn't seem like he had an extra spot for it. Carrying razor wire. Don't really see that too often. No, it's a bit of a waste, but either way. Here's another one. Diabolic really put the pressure on. Nice crispy shots. Oh, Takes my. him back. That's just a knock. 
kill doesn't come through. We'll have to reload. Six bullets left. Now, where were his teammates? This is a scary spot to be in. There's going to be people rotating over from factory. There's always at least one team, but does pick up two kills. That could be that team, Ben. If that's the team from factory, he's going to be in a pretty good spot to loot up and, you know, pick up more kills. He's running it up right now. If he gets, yes. like, three, four more kills, Splice are going to be in a pretty rough spot. Maybe Cade was right. <laughs> Maybe seven is a, a realistic number for Diabolic. I mean, yeah, he's looking good thus far. He's kitted out. He's got a decent amount of stuff. I still worry about that level one armor, but there's a level two. He can heal it up, grab the armor plates, and be on his merry way. Or just, you know, not grab the level two armor. That, that's not uh, grab the level two and not uh, heal up. But, you know... <laughs> It does get a bit tense when you're in a blackout game, so who am I to question Diabolic? He's winning right now, so grab the level two, please. Or, nope. All or right. Just walk away. All right. That, that works as well. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know, he's this confident. He knows he doesn't need level two. What Diabolic is doing is saying, all right, the other 18 people in the lobby, I'm giving you a chance. Okay, he leaves another level two. Yeah, he's giving everyone a chance. All right. He's that good. He is not healing up to full health? No, he doesn't need full health. He needs full health. I'm tilted. <laughs> awesome, nice He's shot. hitting some really nice shots, though. But this is a tough spot. If you don't have a grapple and you don't have a sensor dart, it's pretty tough to push this. But you do have nades. You do have grenades. Like I said, the new cluster isn't you know, as good as it used to be, so you can't evade them now. But he's peppering them, you know, getting rid of some of that armor. It looks like this is a team of three. That's what we've seen thus far. And going to run away from that. I like this play, although he does have to get to zone, Ben. Yeah, that's something to consider. Time on his side, though. Seconds plus. If he can down this guy and thirst him, it'd be 30 huge health. Goal. And if only he had level two armor right about now, that probably would have helped in that fight. <laughs> <laughs> well, not sure if uh, you guys at home picked up Temp as he's currently taking Trash Talk into the game. Love to see it. Yep, Temp trying to talk a little bit of trash and getting the mines and. <laughs> 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 Diabolic going to laugh at him. Uh, I know Study's down there with Temp. Study, what's Temp saying? <laughs> Temp, what are you? got you on the dark. What, what are you watching oh, this right now? What's going on? This guy's literally camping. He, he's literally getting gunned by bots. Look. Oh! oh! Bro, just shoot your gun. You're a pro. Oh, this guy has got an actual garbage. Yeah. <laughs> look, 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 bro. Oh, I can't believe it. You got to throw a top. You didn't even see him. Look. Just shoot him once, please. Hello? Bro, Steven is horrible, bro. Uh, back, 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 back to Beninet. Back to Beninet. Oh, <laughs> uh, I think the trash talk got to him, Ben. You think? Remember what I was talking about earlier? People get uh, nervous. He was nervous right there. Oh, uh, Temp, when you retire, please, please join the casting crew. Please join the commentary desk. Oh, my lord. Uh, uh, Diabolic's just kind of sat there. It's like, bruh. <laughs> really? He's salty. I, I, I hope. Here's why I hope. I hope Diabolic falls early and Temp is last alive. So Diabolic gets to respond. But that was that was interesting. I hope Diabolic uh, just runs Temp over. <laughs> <laughs> Bam! Just hits him. <laughs> it is worth mentioning, though. Really good job from Diabolic there. Last alive. He was able to cherry pick a couple of kills. Had a couple of 1v2s. A little unfortunate not to kill the full squad at the end, but he was at least able to take down a couple with him. Yeah, I mean, I think he got one of those kills or two of those kills out of the four. Yeah. So, yeah, that's huge. So, I think he maybe extended their lead to about seven or eight, which that's a pretty comfortable lead. That's a two, that's two squads you got to take out. But we know what Spice is capable of. You got to still put your foot on the gas pedal if you are Enigma 6. But yeah, next, down, down six. Down next six. game is starting up and they're pretty much tied like two kills is nothing. pretty much nothing going into a blackout and you can drop and find those two kills in a mere matter of seconds i'm waiting on arsides to take over me too i i heard nothing but good things about him and especially in blackout not seeing anything yet disappointed yep the, disappointed. the coach is carrying you arsides if you could hear me step it up well, for saint primarily a, a pc blackout guru down two against Accelerating. To be honest, that's kind of the best case scenario. It's Accelerating their quarterfinal put up some big, big numbers. So to even be in a position where this is competitive for United after what looked like such a poor performance in, in their first quarterfinal, I mean, it couldn't get better than this.
down two going into map two. It's uh, almost the same line that they had in their first game, yep. coming in over Hydro Dam and Train Station. I bet you United. I bet you they land Long Barn. Oh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> they went there every game th so, thus far, so they might do it again. But last time we saw Believe and Ruiz land in Train Station, they did take out a squad. Yep. They had a decent rotation, but they end up getting taken out. And I think it was the uh, orange buildings that are between Firing Range and Train Station. So. Well, second semifinal as well. Their map two has same begun. drop. Literally, it exactly. It hasn't worked. One. It hasn't worked. Yeah, <laughs> you're, you're right. But I was gonna say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But it it's broken. It's broken. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and there's a player straight off the rip. Mozu oh, up for Saint. Is. He goes down. Hasn't been finished though. Arsties, where are you? Can you save the day? That's the question. The shots are going down. You got to keep your teammate alive here if you want any chance of the comeback. And Saint will be finished. Oh my. Arsties still hasn't found the kill. Finally, he will get the down, but in That's the kill field. Guy. He's got two more to deal with. You see Believe picking up kills, oh, so he's fresh done. 26. He could jump up. I don't know if he knows, but he could jump up on those tables to the right, and it becomes Look sort off. of a heady looking over. Nice the rush. But that guy had no respect for our city shot and is going to get taken out. That was the guy that took out Saint. Another down. two down. And suddenly changes that weapon. No heals on either of those bodies, so... He's going to have to find heal soon. Does find some bandages. No armor as well. I, I guess the question now is, where was the last player, or maybe the, the last two? And instantly, you can see now on the minimap, the players from Accelerate flying over. They managed to pick up a kill, so maybe that was the full team there. You could probably deduce that. So the lead once again in favor of Accelerate. So Accelerate, right, they're up one kill. Um, what they can do now is they can just follow RCDs around and try to steal his kills. Or they can completely separate and try to r and run the score up. But the issue is, if they die, obviously RCDs is capable of getting a ton of kills. And Be believe has level three. Oh, he's good. Yeah, Be believe he's good. level three. And they're gonna see one person in firing range on the far corner, gonna escape that sensor dart. Is he gonna be able to hunt him down though? That's the question. And for RCDs, you have a giant task. A massive task. I believe he's uh, decided he's to try and split as much as he possibly can. He's making his way over towards Triangle Barn, looking at the Rivertown cut. And for the two guys for Accelerate, they're going to try and hunt down those kills. I'm curious to see what is going on in the Splice semifinal, though. Uh, looks like to two. Enigma 6 found themselves a set of kills. Kate, 50% health right now. No armor on either one of them, so they're going to be in a three. tough spot. Level 3 for Temp as well. Bad that in mind is Kate does down. go down. Kate does go down. He might have to Will Diabolic save him, though? I mean, you would hope Kate so. Kate picks up a kill as he goes down, so yep. looks like they got out of that situation. Barely. Barely, yep. They need oh, to find more, armor fast. On the, on the motion sensor, and Diabolic's going to see it. Now, though, can he find a kill? That's the question. Aqua has found one of his own. You've got to be careful. Trip mines are on the door. You can probably just try and slide in. you got to be careful, though. It's, he's, he's not there. He's... Is he up top? He's on the roof. <laughs> they're, they're as confused as, as we were momentarily, but he's, in the oh, he's right in the corner. There he is. Oh, finally, yeah, that's level three. Uh oh, this could get horrible. But teammate on the flank, surely he goes oh, he down. It. He does. Diabolic cleans up the kill. Eleven to three. Make that twelve to three. So as the players are, you know, dwindling out of this lobby right now, people are dying. There's only sixty people left. And eleven to three. Spicy to pick up the pace. Just to update, the first semifinal did actually end. Everybody fell. Accelerate will take it. I believe the final score in that one was 11 to 9 in Accelerate's favor. Congrats, Accelerate. You move on to our final. So now, pressure on this matchup. Splice down 11 to 3. They got to do something miraculous. United got like 20 kills in the whole tournament. Yes. <laughs> that wasn't, those, those are yikes. That was a big yikes. I would have preferred to see you play. Yep. yep. I, I'm going to be honest. I think even Maven could do better than that. I think he could. I think he could. I actually think he could. Temp's got level three, so if he just starts playing a little bit more aggressive, can probably run the score. But five to 13, 50, you know, three people left so in their squad. It's going to be pretty tough. Already you can see, obviously, Aqua on one quad, Temp on another. They're not necessarily splitting just yet, but there is a little bit of a gap between them two. Do they want to try and separate further? I mean, it's well, down seven. Well, Aqua does have the sensor dart on his ATV, so he's just trying to pick up anybody on the circle. Does see some people inside Zombie, but it looks like it's only one. Should be a free. He's going to leave this one for Temp to pick up while he tries to go cover more ground. Right in front of you, looks like they lost him. So maybe a team of two. three here. At least two. Now I believe three. there's still one player behind them, though. 
down. There's the first down. Nicely played Aqua tracks back to try and assist. This is huge. That should be number two, but no. Unfortunate reload. Bear in mind, only 18 bullets left in the clip. Temp looks down to his left. Well, if you got left, GKS. Well, that's not an easy fight, but makes I like the best the of it. That's two. And as Aqua cleans that up. So Spice slowly but surely chipping away at the E6. There's still another player. He went down uh, to the right a little bit. I think that's going to be him. Pick up this kill. You can loot up, and you know you're within striking distance. Bullets. Now I'm going to be forced to reload. Trauma there. We still have the level three. Oh, Tim. Uh-oh. He was roasting Diabolic before. Luckily, teammate is in assistance. And Did he go upstairs? He must have done. Aqua's trying to hunt him down. He drops out. They still can't find him. Finally, Aqua shuts him down. And Bold spot. Now, all of a sudden, this semifinal just got very, very interesting. Absolutely. It's 9-13 to 13 now, I believe. There, there's your score update. So down four. Looking over at um, Kate and Diabolic screen. They're located in Rivertown right now. And we just saw Temp and Aqua actually leave Rivertown. So you got to think that they checked every building in here. And there's well, they, they drove through it with the, with the motion sensor. So. Yeah, and they didn't see anybody. But the, a bullet was just fired at them. I think it was over maybe near this docks area. So if they don't find a team in here, Spice can maybe well, rotate with that sensor and pick up a couple more kills. Diabolic Enforcement Engineer on. Just going to give him a small amount of information. He knows the Guardian's to the right. The only question is, how long ago was that placed? Could have been a while ago. Well, there's a quad. He'll spot that. And, an, whoa, there's an, an A-Rev up there as well. This could be rough. You got to be careful when you push this push this vehicle. They just run you over like that. Well, for Diabolic, slowly but surely pushing up now. Keep your eye on exactly where Aqua and Temp are. So they collapse onto this as well. Looks like they're making their way towards Fragment Tower. Yep. I hate fighting in Fragment Tower. It can be so scary. But look so at, many look buildings. The, look so at the circle, crates. though. Look at the circle. You're almost kind of forced to from their original position. Well, they have to get to the zone. Diabolic is picking up kills right now. Going to pick up two. Cade gets one as well. That's going to be two more kills added to the score of Enigma 6. And there's more left. That was only a down. Uh, a misfire, but... You know what? Just make it work, right? You, you, you mess it up, and you just have to make a pretty little shape. Oh, so they killed the people that were in the ARAB, so now they have an ARAB. Temp run into some action as well. We're giving these guys a cast curse. Every time we hop on, the other team starts getting kills. Drastically out of the next circle. Well, that's good time. No heals at all. Catch the fight. Temp needs oh, the assistance of Aqua, and the assistance does come through. Six kills overall for Temp. Bear in mind, still level three armor, but needs the loot. Wants to be quick with it. Going to need all the meds he can possibly get. So the issue right now is just every time Temp and Aqua get into a fight, E6 gets into a fight as well. So yep. they're both rotating on the op. Like, just well, they're near each other now, but they were kind of going on the opposite side of the circle until they, you know, met each other at a point, and they've killed everybody on this side. So now it's going to be who has the vehicle, who can get away faster and get to that other side of the circle and pick up those other rotators. Oh, Aqua. Instantly try to get over towards E6's location. Use a glance. You ask for vehicles where well, you're going to need them, and I believe both teams have them. A five kill advantage. There's only 28 people left. If you're E6, the best bet might be to just follow Spice around. Steal one right, or two kills pick. from every fight. Cherry yeah. pick, yep. And just keep your lead. There's not very many people left in the game. You wipe out one or two more squads, and it's, you know, pretty much a done deal. Up five, I mean, that clutch from Diabolic in the first game where Temp was roasting him might lead to a victory. <laughs> yeah, very realistic possibility. This, this Temp spotted something in Rivertown. Well, the shots go down over towards Red Barn. Aqua's all in. He's flying. It's only one, though. They need, they desperately need to fight full teams right now. If you want to have both players fighting a 2v1, ideally not. You can break this, yeah. You can break this glass, jump down, and this should be a pretty easy kill. He's just trying to find exactly where that Oh, there's multiple. Is. Temp only downed him. There's a second, so best case scenario here. But you got to hit the shot attack where the stun oh comes through. He's going to need at least a little bit of support. Did he hop out the back window? He did. Still picked up on the motion sensor, so back or at least you still have a ton of information. You just have to make sure you find the kill. Temp's going to fly. Temp's going to get the down. Only Again, one left. just a down, not the full kill. And Temp's actually gone down. I believe Temp did just go down. Was he that a his rocket? He pick clutch and he Was does. Was that a rocket launcher? Aqua somehow manages to clutch that up. Elsewhere, though, 
despite Splice putting the pressure on, E6 respond again. More kills for them. Yeah, I mean, it's, it sounded like a rocket launcher point blank just down temp. But they do get out of there with four kills, so within one now, they're in a great spot. They just need to get away from the circle. Within two. Yep. Oh, because two. There we go. the kill came through for, for E6. You loot and go, though, as quickly as you possibly can. Yeah, it's ending over in the desert, turbine area of the map. I actually like it when it ends over there because you can just get on one of those big rocks and spray okay. people down. Having a sniper in this ending is pretty much crucial. <laughs> yeah, I don't. They're going for. I respect it, right? Long shots there. If you hit that heli and you explode it, four free kills. But from that range, for the sounds can I don't know about that one. But in terms of your comment, yeah, for for me, the desert with the sniper rifle, great ending. Yeah. Also, E6 kind of have the lead on the rotation here, right? Like people who are going to be in the circle right now, you can kind of roll up on to those squats with an ATV, maybe you know get a few more kills and run it up. But there's a lot of people left in this game. Twenty three. There's a lot of people. Twenty three left in a relatively small circle. For just two kills? Yep. Just a two kill advantage? By no means. Yeah, I don't think E6, uh, I don't think they predicted players to be left in Rivertown at that point. And that was a pretty big gamble out of Splice, to be honest, going back to Rivertown to pick up a kill. Mm -hmm. Luckily, there was one squad there. Oh, but oh, we need to switch. We need to switch, need need to switch, switch as quickly as possible because Aqua's in a gunfight. He's also weak. I saw it on the motion sensor on the map. Up top flies Aqua. What can you find? It looks like it may just be one play, but you got to be careful. Check those corners. Of course, Temp not really in a position to trade, and you don't want to get full ended. There's, of course, the motion sensor. But where is the player? Temp finally finds him. It's a one kill game, and that could be the one kill right there. Um, it might be the one kill or not. Or, or not, but that's okay. <laughs> they have one a more car. player on the sensor. They spot that. This is surely the kill. It's not going to get easier than He's that. He's not moving. They do have an ATV as well, so they clean this guy up. They can just go charge the other one. And yeah, so tie game. E6 haven't found anybody in like the last five minutes. And I feel like they've been so unfortunate on the rotations. Every time they leave somewhere, there it the is. players appeal behind. Diabolic with one more, though. So the lead is back in. I never walk past this gate. Favor. Me either. <laughs> nope. I'm not trying to. Yeah, he's not. He's, he's, he's like, nope. Nope, nope I don't want any of nope, that. Nope, none of that. I'll wait for the circle to change. Doesn't want to push okay. through. And again, on the other side, Aqua will spot some. The late game rotations, uh, they're pretty close, though. They can maybe Try cherry pick some kills from here, but the stuns are coming in. You Aqua not going to connect with the first one. It's an uphill battle. Temp going to take one out. You've got to be fast, though. Temp has to find right two now. downs. And can the kills come through? Aqua spots the player that's Huge. still alive. A lead. full squad wipe. Advantage splice now. There's only 15 people left. I think they're going to be up, what, two kills, is it? One, I think. Up one kill? Yeah. Oh, two oh, kills. Oh, so it is two. Oh, it's wow. Not bad. So they've been out rotating E6 the last five to ten minutes, right? They still have that quad. Just hop on the back of it, follow them around, yeah. and cherry pick now. That's all you have to do for the rest of the game. And they're pushing in. I don't know if he saw somebody on the sensor dart, but he's pushing into Asylum. This can get pretty scary. He looks like he's alone as well. And, and bear in mind that what Aqua and Temp may do, they may just fly over towards the, the other side. I would just leave. I would get completely away from them, fly over to the other yeah. side. You've killed like two full squads in this oh, side of the circle. Oh. Well, that could be a mistake because Diabolic got all the information he needs. Three players. What's he going to do? Hillside. Hillside. He's got to pick one quick. Well, the shots are down. Cade's going to have to hit a flank right now. He's got to kill that guy that's close. This is a tough spot, man. They have all the cover up top. The nade comes out. If I'm Temp and I'm Aqua, I just rotate all the way around and flank these guys and pick up these kills. It's going to take a couple shots. going to down one, though. Never mind. Only a down. Diabolic with another down. He has to land some precise shots. It does come man. through. A kill. Wow. And as quick as Splice take the lead, E6 retake it right back. That was not an easy challenge, Ben. Those guys are all the way up top of the hill. They had Diabolic pinned behind a wall. Luckily, Cade was kind of riding that edge of the circle there and flanks one. Well, now I'm taking a look at Temp's perspective. Looks like they're going to try and get together, but unfortunately, Aqua's still in the back of the quad. He has to hop out. One shot. Temp goes down. Temp's oh, going to die. Yeah, Temp's dead. dead. Temp's dead. Now, is Aqua going to be able to survive the chaos? It looks like he's, he's just had away. to scramble away with his life. Splice, again, down one in this situation. Aqua he's being dead. shot in the back. He has to survive being tagged through the smoke as he scrambles and scurries away. People also straight south of him. Oh, this is horrible. People on each side, he's getting sandwiched by two different teams. I think he might have found a way to get away from it, though, for the time being. You mentioned how good he is at BRs. Well, this
this is your test. If he can somehow kill one of these teams quick, he can get a few kills there and engage the other other team, but he's getting tagged up. He's spotted once again. He has no equipment either to work with. Nothing. Yeah, you got to think, like, right now, if you have, like, a stun or at least, a, at least a cluster or a smoke even. Oh, my would Lord. Help, but. How is he still alive? He's been shot 10-plus times and still scrambles away. And the problem he's going to have is on the other side, E6 with a motion sensor of their own have spotted another team. If you're Aqua, you've got to work quickly now. Time is against Well, here's you. the good part, right? They have to come up to him because of the circle. So if that is, like, two teams of three at least, and he's able to take out, like, four or five of those guys, he could be in a good spot. But he's going to have to fight them. He's down in kills. And the other guys seem to be across the map near E6. So and they just he's going to have to engage. Vambolic did find another kill. So the lead back to two. And there's only six, six people, people left outside left. of their squad. So those guys that were near that tunnel, he's got to get back over he spots, there. He spots one by the tree over towards his left. Did he not see him? Oh, I don't think he did. And those guys are running straight running into straight Cade right now. Cade gets that kill. Shots going down again from Aqua. And the ABR nerf comes in, so it's going to be a little bit tough to get those kills from range. Shots down again. Yeah, I think it's three people. Two behind the rock, one more down in that ravine. He's got to go. Cade and They're Diabolic are, are coming up right now. They're flying. They're going to be hot in his tail. Kill needs to go in his yeah, favor. It does. It's a down, not a kill. No armor. His armor got ripped apart by that guy. Take He's got to challenge these next guys as soon as possible. Net call. He's waiting Fly to see if he can maybe try and bait or revive. The revive isn't going to come through. Cade with a down. Aqua is right there. At least get a two for one from this team of three. He will be able to do so. That is... I believe now. I haven't even kept count. Makes I'm waiting for the score to come in. Kill game. That is it. With three players left. Is it tied? Is that right? No. Is it? Okay, it's tied. We just got confirmation from the League Ops guys that it is it is tied. No, yeah. It was two for one. That was a two for one. Okay, it's all right, there we tied. go. All right, so. I, I, I can count to three. Yeah, I was, I was like, uh, all right. So they're up one, 24 to 23. There's only three people left. Remember, this is all down Aqua. to that tie. Oh, by the tree, 345. I have eagle vision. So does that. Yeah, how did you see that? I, this is why I'm a god at blackout. Okay, I wouldn't go that far, Beth. Right, I'm pretty good, though. Really? That's, that's our chemistry here? You're not even going to give me a gas? Go, Thanks, Joe. I Joe is the Joe is the gas I need in my life. Did you just the see the strat out of Aqua? He threw a smoke to distract him. Try and bait. I don't think that uh, Cade saw this player up he at the tree. Why? I did. I, I, I would get this kill. I'm just gonna throw it out there just to tie the game. What Ironic. if it's just all three camping behind a tree? I mean, there's a possibility. It could be over to the right. Aqua to tie things up. We'll do so. Two players remain. Diabolics down one. Diabolics killed one. Last player. It's if Aqua gets this kill, he will, will theoretically win this game. Yeah, if Aqua gets this kill, he wins this game. But there was a down. Di surely, uh, Diabolic surely knows where they are. There's a fight. Diabolic, I believe, gets oh, the kill. And that's about as close as it's going to get. Oh, my Lord. E6, seal. So after the trash the talk out attempt, Diabolic turns up, Cade turns up, and they get the victory. That was about a closer game of Blackout as you're ever going to see. A one-kill game coming down to the final player. Aqua did so well just to survive as long as he did. Think, think about that scenario when his teammate originally dies. There's smoke. There's nades. He's being shot in the he back. Did he didn't have job. armor. Didn't have heals. He scurries up a hill, still being shot in the back. Eagle vision from him to tie things up. But unfortunately for him, the way of blackout and the final two players on the other side of the circle. Yeah, I mean, both teams played very good in that, that game. They kind of played the edge of the circle, pick up a ton of kills. In the end, he loses by, what, one or two kills? One. Yeah, one kill. Well, so Technically two, I guess. So it's like that clutch from Diabolic in that first game. Yeah. In <laughs> position to win. That's, that's funny. All the smack temp was talking about windy shots. Diabolic cleaning up the final two kills in that squad of four map number one. was the deciding factor, if you will. It was the, the enough to seal the deal yeah. for E6, which means... We, we now know our grand final. We'll take yep. a look at the bracket one more time. Here's how the day has gone for E United. They beat Heretic 7-2. They advanced on to play Accelerate, where Accelerate got the better of them. Accelerate in round one did have 22 kills, only half in the semifinals at 11. 
but in terms of where the kills were, Splice 27 in their first game, 24 in their second, E6 18 to 26. I mean, I feel like our grand final is, is going to be a great one. Yeah, I mean, who do you got? You know what? E6. I think E6 might take it as well. I was going to say E6. I hate to agree. But we got to. Yeah, I, I, they, they look good. They, they know look, what they're doing. They look fantastic. And speaking of V6, we have Study down on the floor with the Enigma 6 themselves. All right, guys, I'm here with Enigma 6, Diabolic, and Cade. I remember having a conversation with you guys before you guys even came here, and you guys told me you barely played Blackout. What does it feel like to go to a finals? Uh, honestly, didn't expect to be here, but I got my hard carry Cade, so I was feeling pretty good about it. Cade, when it came down to those final moments, the kills were so close on both teams. Did you, were you keeping count of how many kills you guys were ahead and like what was the strategy going into it? Uh, honestly, I lost count. And then when it was like the last three, I was like, all right, we gotta separate. <laughs> I mean, it ended up paying out, so. Well, just in general, man, Diabolic, I felt like you were going absolutely off that game. Silence AK, playing really, really smart. Going to this finals, is there anything you're gonna change up? Nah, I'm just gonna try to kill people and get this cash. All right, let's get this cast, baby. Good luck in that final, man. Back to Ben and Ann on the, on the cast. <laughs> Thank you very much, study. Trying to get a cash. Well, you already got some cash. Yeah. Now the question is, can you get even more cash, right? $5,000 is a lot Ooh. of money. One, one best of two. $5,000 wager. That's crazy. <laughs> wow. That is a lot of money on the line for our next game of Blackout. And obviously, we kind of think maybe E6 could take it, but take nothing away from their competitors. That's everything from myself and Ant for now. Quick commercial break when we return. Grand Finals time.